Dawns and Divas, we haven't done a candle haul in a while. So let's get started with this Bath and Body candle haul. Mm -hmm. Frugal Diva! Frugal Diva! What, what? Frugal Diva! Southern Charities Bakery! Southern Charities Bakery! Yes, Dawns and Divas! Mm-hmm! It is time for a Bath and Body Works! Unboxing slash reveal. So I ordered I ordered some stuff from Bath and Body Works like two weeks and ago. And I said okay, fine, because it was it was candles, but it was only like two candles and another item. But in any case, I said I'm trying to see if I can get some more candles before I do the unboxing slash. Review for you, for me, for us, the family, dogs and three bucks. So yes, I was able to do that. Now the first thing I want to say is the first order that I made, which was the two was the two candles and another item, they I had the buy ten dollars worth of merch, you know, merchandise, and receive a free item. But when I went to go on, I said, Let me check my uh email and in my email I had a they sent me uh email for thirty uh ten dollars worth of thirty. So I said I'd rather use I'd rather use that one. Then also at that same time, I, I don't know if it was the first day or the last day, I just know. I know, it was the last day. They sent me the email, but I don't check all my emails all the time. But anyway, I try to stay up for one of them, but whatever, whatever. So anyway, so they also had the candles, buy one, get one free. And I went in the store and I looked at the candles and I already knew at least one candle that I wanted. I knew one candle that I wanted and I went in the store and I was like, okay, fine. I mean, they're like, swimwear for that one. But I didn't buy it, but I didn't buy it because, oh, I didn't buy it because I didn't have my coupon. At the time, and I think the coupon, I'm not, no, 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 I did have the coupon. I did have the coupon. I put my mother's uh, birthday, uh, another part of my mother's birthday present with the coupon. And I don't know if I, I did it. No, I didn't do it. So I'm going to tell y'all, tell y'all this. Yeah, this is kind of long. This, this, this intro, intro, intri intrigo, <laughs> but it's an informative intrigo. I don't know if I told, told uh, the family before, but you can get gift sets with these coupons. As long as it doesn't say excludes gift sets. So now what you're doing, especially with the buy, um, buy ten dollars worth of merch, and you're able to get an item, um, uh, I guess, of equal or lesser price for free, up to a fourteen dollar value. So what I did was I bought, I bought a Bath and Body Works gift set for my mom, which came up to like I believe it was um, twelve dollars or something like that, twelve dollars and fifty cents. And then I bought another one because I want one for myself. Because remember, in another video I showed y'all already, I had something for something that I bought, and I was like, okay, fine, I'm putting it to my mom's present, so, yes. And I already, I already packed it, I packed everything up, so, hey, should have showed y'all before I packed it up, but, no, I can't actually show y'all, I can show you pictures of the, pictures of the stuff, because I have already all of the same things that I'm sending my mom for her birthday, so, in any case, yeah. So, let me get on into this thing, because I'm doing a whole lot of talking, and not a, not a lot of showing, right? All right, okay. So, let's get into it. This, I paid... $7.50 for. And it is a hand cream and two sanitizers. The hand cream is pump, um, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cup cake. I didn't open it up because I'm not sure if I want to put it in the giveaway, on one of my giveaways or not. So I didn't open it up. I might put it in as a whole. I don't know. I don't know what I might do. I don't know. I might keep it. I mean, I don't know. I just don't know. And this is the hand, sanit hand sanitizer for the pumpkin cupcake. And then the other hand sanitizer is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So, yes, and I paid $7.50 for this. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that is because as I go along, you'll see the reason why... I got this particular set for $7.50. So then, or maybe you already figured it out. Hey, whatever. You know, my dog's deep is, I know y'all smart. So the next thing that I got, I bought this, and this was $22.50, because that's the price of it. Tw yeah, $22.50. And this is the champagne toast. And this is the one that I wanted that I smelled in the store, and I was like, yes, I want this.
Smells lovely, Zones and Seasons. Oh, gosh. It has this, that citrusy, berry, just aroma that's really like, oh, gosh. I hope when I burn this that it's like on full burn, like at least a 9 or a 10. Because, baby. Oh, Lord. But it's, it, 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 it smells wonderful, but it's a lightness. So I'm hoping that it burns on some... Ah! Boom! Bam! Hit you in the face! Okay. The notes are glittering champagne, wild berries, and tangerine zest. And I am able to smell all of it. <sighs> Next. Now, like I said, $12, um, $22.50. This one I paid nada for because this, it was the buy one, get one free. And this one, if you haven't seen any of my other um, Bath and Body Work hauls or even a cocktail or any other thing that I've done, you won't know. So I'm going to let you know, if you're new to the family, that I love vanilla. I love the smell of vanilla and I love the smell of citrus. Lime, lemon, or orange, you know, tangerine. I love the smell of citrus. Citrus and vanilla. Those are my favorite fragrances. Oh, gosh, it smells so good. And that's warm vanilla sugar. Oh, let me quickly show you the top of the other one. Reminds me of a snowflake. Okay, now the top of this one is just regular. It's a regular, it says Bath and Body just a regular top and like I said this is warm sugar vanilla you know that dysle dyslexia always kicks in and it just I just go every which way with words it says warm vanilla sugar I'll say warm sugar vanilla sugar vanilla warm I, I go every which way because the dyslexia it kicks in it kicks in boom it kicks in it does what it does and the hint notes on this is Sheer florals, vanilla absolute, and sandalwood. Yes. The sandalwood is very light in this in, in this fragrance combination. It's, it's a lightness. But it gives that oomph at the end. It does. And I did put that in one of my cocktails. I have a small one. So I did use use that in a cocktail, a recent cocktail that I did with the, my Lush products. I believe it was with the Lush. I don't know if it was Moon Harvest or Lush, but yeah, I know I used it in a recent cocktail. So now I'm going into the newest package, and you know, it's packing slip. And these are coupons. This coupon I never use. This is the um, online, it says online only, 20% off your entire purchase. Who gives a rat's boot body? Because I never ever use this financially. I don't even think it's even worth it. But, I mean, hey, if you want me to put the coupon code down in the bottom, I will. I don't know if it's a one-time coupon code or not, but I think I have at least two of these. So, I'll put both of them down in the bottom. Matter of fact, I'll look to see if it's the exact same coupon code. Ugh. Coupon code, because if it is, then that means it's not a one-time shot deal. So, yes, yes, I will definitely put that coupon code down the bottom. And if it's only a one-time shot deal, the first person who jumps on it, obviously will get it. Because I don't use those. It just financially doesn't make sense to me. And I'm a financial advisor. That is how I make my financial retirement coin. So, you know, if, if the numbers don't work, the numbers don't work for me. Now this coupon, boom, yeah, because inside of here, and I have four of these, so yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. The first one is use now, free item of your choice with any purchase of $10 or more. Now, this is good all the way until November, November 13th, but I have two coupons for that, for this same, two coupons that they gave out last month for the same, in the same kind of deal. But this one here, I'm going to peel it off because I want to tell y'all something. Okay, this one here says excludes gift sets. This one says excludes gift sets. So what I told, I, did I tell y'all? I don't know if I told y'all.
but about the uh, about about the gift about the gift sets that you can with the other coupon and I'm going to put a picture of the other coupon in here because I don't feel like getting up to get it but um, with the other coupon it does not say exclude gift sets it does not say that so you can buy gift sets buy two gift sets that are under $14 and you will be able to get one for free You'll it'll be a buy one it, it, that will be the buy one get one free that coupon which I am going to put after you know at right after right after this I'm gonna cut this video just to put that coupon in so that y'all see what I'm talking about but this one says excludes gift sets so you can't do it with this one but that coupon you can so if you have that coupon yes you can and that coupon is still good all the way I believe to the end of this month so I am definitely going to show y'all that coupon oh and then the next coupon is the ten dollars off of thirty which is how I got the first set of stuff, you know. And then the last coupon is that 20% off the entire purchase, which is one that I will not use. I told y'all that already. I just told y'all with that. I don't use that coupon financially. I just don't think it, it's feasible. It makes sense. It just don't. It just doesn't to me. Especially when I know they have other coupons or other deals, other things that's whatever. And also, I was able to get uh, free shipping on that so that was really really a win-win situation so let's show the next first item in this box and this was I don't know how much it was I think this was the 30 uh, 30 dollars of uh, 30 dollar purchase you get a uh, shipping free yeah no yeah no it was either 30 or 35 dollars I don't know but I know you got shipping free on this I know that you got shipping no, no yeah did you get shipping yeah I got shipping free I think it was 40 dollars I don't know don't even but I got shipping free and also one of the items in here was totally free so yeah so this first one It's one I've been wanting for a while. And these medium sized ones were um, you know, the normal uh twelve fifty and two for twenty. So I got the two for twenty with this. And this is sweater weather. Oh gosh. And I try to when I get these ones, I try I like to try and get, even though I like the aroma of a lot of them. I try to get the ones with the tops on them. I just, I just like the, top, I just like the top, just so it doesn't, uh, you know, if you have it for a while or whatever the case may be, that uh, aroma is not coming off, the, you know, it's not exuding its aroma quickly. You know, if you have it for a while, you want to still be able to smell it as it was intended. So I try to get the ones that have top. And stay away from the ones that don't have the top. Okay, anyway, this is Sweater Weather. And this is Fresh Sage Juniper Berry Aroma. Aroma. Aromatic. That uh, dyslexia, boom, kicks on in. Huh. Aromatic Eucalyptus Fresh Woods. Mm -hmm. Look at the top. <laughs> top looks like you're not just out in the woods but I think of even though I don't see it in the picture you know that's one of the great things about my dyslexic brain I just see things that aren't there in a good way I, I have a great imagination awesome imagination most dyslexics have an awesome imagination because we are very crafty when it comes to the arts like we excel in music we excel we excel in music we excel in art we do we excel we're, we're really great with our hands we excel in those kinds of fields so in any case yes and we're great with math um 
What was I gonna say? <laughs> My baby's supposed to be going good now. What am I gonna say? Boom! Came right back in the head. Okay, what I was gonna say was is that even though it's not in the picture, I feel like when I look at this picture, I feel like I'm in a cottage. A cottage in the in the woods, you know, looking out of my college college cottage onto this wonderful scenery. Let's get close so you can see it. Oh my gosh, this, isn't that beautiful? That is sweater weather. Yes, that is sweater weather. Yes, but I really love, I, I mean, I love this top, that scenery. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. I really, I, you know what I want? On, I, I told my husband that if our house that we live in on, on you know, on our land um, down in, down in um, the south, if we can't live in this, this house made from the ground up, I would at least have like to have a small one as like a guest house where I can go and relax. Log cabin. I want a freaking log cabin. Yes, the heck I do. I want a log cabin. He's, uh, my husband's not too keen on that idea. So I said, well, okay, maybe, because I want my house built from the ground up. So if I can't have my house that I live in built from the ground up, because maybe it's not as feasible or maybe financially, you know, not as sound or whatever the case may be, which I think, honestly, I've done my research and I think that houses built from the ground up, to me, are more sound than houses that you buy right from off of the market, depending on the market, though. But, you know, especially if you have a lot of people in your family who are talented into different fields, like my husband's a plumber, so plumbing, boom. And um, as I ain't talking to y'all, I'm ripping this over, you know, and I have electricians and carpenters and all, you know, that in my family, you know, and our family put together. So that's another reason why I told him that building the house from the ground up, I believe, is more financially sound, more for us, you know, so. But like I said, I, I don't tell people what to do. I'm just saying for, for, well, I do tell people what to do. I tell my husband, <laughs> just as he tells me, you know, I'm always telling him, you're not the boss of me. He said, yes, I am. I said, well, maybe. You could be. <laughs> yeah. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. I thought that this was coming with a different time. But this is exactly what I like to try and avoid. Exactly what I just told y'all. What a, ooh, that top is beautiful though. See this? See, I doesn't have the twist on top. I tried to avoid this, but I really, really love this scent. I didn't know if I, you know what? I think that I did know it was coming with this top, but because I like vanilla and lavender, and purple is my favorite color, you know, those are all the things that worked for me. So this is lavender vanilla. And like, I don't even have to get my face up close to it because I have my fan on, I have my AC on, you know, all that good stuff. Why I have all that on, I mean, it's it's the fall and it's freaking 80 degrees outside. Really? Come on. But anyway, so yes. So I can smell it without even, I can just, and I can smell it. It's wonderful. Yes. So this is lavender blossom, caramel, creamy, caramel, see what I'm saying? That dyslexia, kick on in. Creamy vanilla, white woods, sugared musk. Oh my gosh, this smells wonderful. Let me get a close up on this top. This top is wonderful. White barn, a white barn. The white barn collection. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Let's look inside. Let's see if that's per if it's purple inside. Sometimes these nails are wonderful, sometimes, no, it's white. It's white. Which is good because the, uh, it's purple. So yes. But this is, these are the tops that I don't really too much like. I like the pretty picture there, but I don't like these kind of, because I like, yeah. 
But this is one that I definitely will be using soon. So most likely that won't be a problem. Okay, next up. that I wanted that I smelled while I was in the shop. And the top is not nothing spectacular. <sighs> Wonderful. Oh my gosh. It's red. See the outside's red. This is another white barn wine cellar. The very very elegant label. Because it's very simple. Simplistic. Normally, White Barnes labels are simplistic. You get up close, you can see it. It says wine cellar. And this is add luxurious notes of fragrant red fruit. Rhea Pachelli Patchouli. Patchouli! Patchouli! Okay. Rare patchouli and touch of saffron to your home wine list. Saffron. Let me tell you something about saffron and, and, and saffron going with this, you know, this, this label here of simplicity and elegance. Saffron, because as the, the name of my channel, Southern Charities Bakery, which lets you know that I am a pastry chef. I'm a pastry chef by trade. I get my financial coin from, be, coin from being a financial advisor, but I am a pastry chef by trade. Have my own pay, uh, my own bakery business. And yes, I can cook. Mm-hmm. Went to school for it. I mean, and I could cook before I went to school for it, but you know when you go to school, I think I did a video on that, about the reason of going to school as a, going to school to be a chef. Because a home cook and a chef is totally, is totally different. Being that when you cook at home, yes, home cooks you can cook, wonderfully how the case may be. When you become a chef, you should also already know how to cook. They're not, they're not teaching you how to cook. They're not teaching you how to cook, dogs and divas. They are not teaching you how to cook. You need to know how to cook. Simple as that. You need to know how to cook. What they are teaching you as a chef is to be able to Horn in on what it is that you know and expand it. That's what they do in school, in culinary arts school. They horn in what it is that you're, you're able to tap into what you already know and expand on it. The second thing that they teach you in culinary school is how to create a dish and make it taste the same each and every time that you make it. Like, for instance, I'm pretty sure that most of you know from, you know, from your, from your parents, whoever was the cook in the house, or your, your grandparents, or, or, or your guardian, you know, your guardian, whoever was the adult cook in your house growing up, you know, whoever it was. And I'm not trying to in any way shade anyone who did not grow up in a traditional home. But I'm just I'm just saying, like I'm not trying to be rude or anything to anyone who um, didn't grow up in a in a traditional home. Traditional home meaning a with a you know growing up in a apartment or house or how the case may be with a person, adult, guardian. So in any case, uh, and and I can and I consider all of that traditional. Non-traditional would be someone who might have grown up maybe in a, a group home uh, type kind of a setting. I don't say, um, I, I would never say that um, growing up in a foster home is not a traditional home setting because I used to be a foster parent. And baby, <laughs> I still have contact with the majority of my foster children because at the end of the day, 
I know I was the bull.com as a foster parent. Yes. Okay. And I took in, like, okay, I'm going off topic, but you know, hey, I'm going to come on back to this. And I took in young ladies who were already in the foster care system and had gotten pregnant. So those were the, those were the uh, teens that I took in. I took in teen mothers because at the end of the day, I mean, everyone, everyone needs some, some guidance. We all need some guidance. Now, even though they were teen mothers, I want to say this, that yes, I took care of the teen mother and also I took care of their child, but I was one of those foster care parents that was like, listen, at the end of the day, you are a mother. So you need to do the motherly thing, the motherly duties that you have. So no, I am not going to be watching your child while you go out and party. No, I am not going to be watching your child while you go and hang out with your boyfriend. That's not happening. Now, you have a school event that you are a part of and legit and you know I do the checking of the checkity checking check. Not a problem. I have no problem with watching them. If you need to sit down and you need to do your studying and stuff like that, I have no problem with doing that. That's what I'm there for. But I'm not here for you to turn up. That's not what I'm here for. I didn't say turn up at that time because this was years ago when I was forced to family. So turn up wasn't the thing. But I'm giving it a new age twist. Okay? I'm not here for your turn up. That's not what I'm here for. Darling, when you had this baby, you, you did all the turning up you needed to do. <laughs> okay? I'm just keeping it funky dunky with you. You did all the turn up you needed to do. So turn up for what? No, no. Turn down and get your, get your dad on diploma. How about that? I am here for your diploma, but I'm not here for you to get your life. Okay? Okay. All right. So, any case, and prior to that, I had teen boys. That right there, that was a no-go. Really, truly, that was a no-go. Because at that time, I was not married. So, not, not, not to say it was a no-go, because I was actually fortunate enough to have um, three, teen, three teen boys who were basically really, really good, you know, young men. They, they were really good young men. I still have contact with two of them. But um, really good, really good young men. One of them was uh, a hands love a hands on And then when he, once he got it down in line, you know, we was good money. We was good money, okay? I can tell you some stories about him and his foolishness. But in any case, but the reason why I say it was a no-go because of the simple fact that not because of them and they were not, you know, they were not just being teens as teens, teens are, but because at the end of the day, I'm a woman and I was not married. And I believe that, I believe old school that women should be taught, young women coming into womanhood should be taught by women. And young men coming into malehood should be taught by men. Because there are things that I don't care what nobody say. There are things that as a woman, I cannot teach a young man. And vice versa. There are certain things. So, you know what? This, is going, this video is long, but I'm going to pull it into a little bit of a rant quickly. Very quick rant, and I'm going to come right on back out of it. This is the reason why it is so important to, even if you do not get along with your the person you made a child with, it is in the best interest for you two to be able to co-parent. Reason being, especially if it's a woman 
who has a son. That son's father needs to step up to the plate and be in his child's life and you need to step the hell back and allow him to be in the child's life. Because the simple fact of the matter that you as a woman cannot raise no man. You can't. You can't do it all by yourself. Because there are things that as a young man growing up that a woman cannot teach. It just is what it is. And vice versa. So... You are a young man and you have your you have your daughter and for whatever reason the mother, you know, is acting kooky coo, don't want to do what she got to do, or you know, uh, God forbid she passed away, or how the case may be. You need to be able to have a structured woman in your daughter's life. Because you cannot teach your daughter what it is to be a woman completely you just can't you can read every book in the world you could you could study every woman in the daggone world if you like you can do all of that but at the end of the day you cannot walk in the shoes of the opposite sex so you can't fully understand and know what it is to be the opposite sex you can have a uh what is, what is an operation to become the opposite sex but at the end of the day you still are not going to know what it is to be the opposite sex truthfully because there are some things that you cannot understand simple as that and if Y'all don't agree with me, that's fine and then you can put it in my comment section, but if you get rude, like I say many a times, I will trump you. But you can get in my comment section and section and say, you know, session, section, you know, whatever. I mean, this was this kind of went off to the to, to the left, but now I'm gonna bring it back. Elegance. And I was talking about um being a chef. Another thing. Uh, another thing, which was the ingredient that made me go all the way off on a complete tangent, which is the saffron. Saffron is expensive. So this wine cellar, I mean, whoever made this name wine cellar, really, truly understood the whole strategy of the marketing. Like, I understand where the marketing was behind the name of this along with the ingredients because you know saffron once again saffron is expensive expensive okay you make some saffron rice baby you're not getting i mean most 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 more like it like unless you in you know the asian um on the asian continent you know in india somewhere you know on the asian continent you're not going to the, you know, the local restaurant and getting saffron rice. That's not happening. Unless, unless you're paying like a good, for that, for that meal with the saffron rice in it, unless you're paying like a good, I, I say at least a good uh, $30 for that, for that plate of food or something like that. Because saffron is not cheap. Saffron is not cheap. Okay. And that's another thing that they teach you in culinary school. With a ingredient, you know, an herb, an ingredient like saffron, you need to have your stuff on point because you don't want to be wasting no kind of no um, saffron like that. You don't want to be doing that because like I just said, it's expensive. But anyway, like I said, wine cellar. Let's go on to the next thing. Yeah, you had to, y'all had to listen to all of that. So what? Okay? So what? Dogs and Divas. Now this next item, I got for free. This was totally, totally free. So of course I jumped on that. And you didn't have a pick of what you got for free. This was the only thing that was for free. So I did something, whatever case may be with that. Um, the, the purchase or whatever and got that amount off. 
Plus, I got this free item. Plus, shipping was free. So, yes, that was an all-around goody-goody. Okay. Warm vanilla sugar. Warm vanilla sugar. And this is the fragrance mist and the body cream. And as you see, my hand to it, this is the full size. Full size. And you know that the, what? $13 and $14. So you got 20, 23, I got $23, can y'all see that? I hope y'all can. I got $23 worth of merch for free and free shipping. Like, yes. You know a financial advisor will jump on something like that. Anyway, dogs and divas, this video has been totally, totally, totally wrong with the long. Because I went into rants and everything else, but that's okay. It's okay, because it's cool anyway. Dawns and Divas have a frugal diva day. Mm -hmm. Dawns and Divas, like, comment, and share. I do read all the comments, and I do reply. Mm -hmm. If you're not subscribed, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Some munches, Dawns and Divas.